Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're reviewing Basil Hayden's bourbon. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Which means it's at least two years old. It's from Kentucky and it's straight. And packaging that tells you it's also part of the WWE. <laughs> Look at bourbon. this belt. It's got a belt. It's got a like a copper and a big BH belt. And it's got a toga. It's like a monk's robe. It's like a monk's robe. Thank you. What is that? Investment? I like it, it though. Yeah. I think it looks. It, yeah, I'm trying to neat. open the bottle and I'm like, yeah. really? Yeah. That paper was getting in the it's way. It's in the way. When you go to grip it, you can't really like grip it. And then even this tape wrap on top, I'd have cut it. Interesting. I'm just telling you, feel the bottle. Look at that. I like it's the in your way. I like the packaging. I think it's. Uh, no. It stands out. When you see Basil Hayden's on the shelf, you go, I want to try that. I wanted to say that, but it's overdone. They're trying to make me buy something that sucks. That's what I was saying. I don't think so. Oh, I prejudged it. Did I not it comes in, it it's mid-30s. It yeah. Yeah, you did prejudge it. You do that, though. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You always do, just right mm -hmm. there, based on the packaging. Mm -hmm. On this, this, okay, if you show up, I already, and, I already got and some. You say, and you say, you know what? I'm different because my hair is dyed blue and it's in a mohawk. Oh, yeah, you're different. You're different just because everyone else is. Visually to be different. Visually different. I want to get to know what's in this box. This is hard. Let me see. I can hold it down here at the bottom. And, oh, look at this. Oh, the paper didn't get in the way. You had to purposely hold it at the bottom. Normally, when I want to drink, I just I grab the bottle. The bottle. That's ah, what I do. Ah, Look, I even pour from there. Makes me feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> makes you feel dirty. Yeah, when I grab what it up top. About? Yeah, it's like I'm trying to unrobe a monk. Oh, me, you can huh? pour your own. Yeah. Yeah, throw it down. Get angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Get hearty. I'm sorry. I do like it. Now, here's the surprise. As much as I dislike the external part of the bottle, the flash, the non-substance, I dig the juice. The juice is good. Mm. The juice is phenomenal. Matter of fact, Bruno hadn't even tried this and it's his bottle. I had it half gone. You drank half of it. Yeah, I kept going, come, said, on, come man. on, dude. I can't like it. I kept thinking, I can't like that. And then I'd say, well, let me try it again. <laughs> and then I'd have a little bit. And I was like, you know what? That's pretty tasty. And then I started pouring bigger drinks because I didn't want to fumble around. I almost cut this off. If this had just been a sticker without the vestment robe, I would... okay. now you're talking. Don't let it get in your way. Hold on. That's better already. Look at that. I can grip it up here like a man yeah. or a small <laughs> girl child. <laughs> Yeah, I can grip it like a man now. The paper is no longer in the way. I can grip. Tell me that. You can grip it like... This is how I like to grip my bourbon. Right there. Yeah. I like to get my hand wrapped around the neck like I'm choking it. Wait a minute. If I saw that on the shelf, I pick it up. I pick it up at the bottom because you look at it and you hold it. If you lose the upper paper, I'm with you. Oh, wow. Well. Mm. Anyway. Mm. Past the packaging. Uh, Smooth, rich, burst what? with flavor. What'd you get on the nose? Really, it's kind of a, a standard mm -hmm. uh, bourbon. I got the cherries. Um, it, it's very light and mild on the nose. It's not real strong. It doesn't come up and punch you. You know, it doesn't yeah. make your eyes water. It I'm is. Um, 40, it is 40%. Oh, 40. All right. I really got to get my nose in there. I'm with yeah. you on the hint of cherry. I get a little bit of floral. A slight hint of medicinal. But once it's in the mouth, mmm. Mmm. I get really, I, I still, I just get the standard bourbon stuff, but it's really, it's really smooth. It's really, it, it moves gracefully, I guess you could say, through it's, the flavors. It's soft and rounded. Soft and rounded. Yeah, I feel it's got it's got no unlike the paper packaging, it's got nothing that hangs up. It's rounded, it's smooth, it's flavorful. 
I get a nice vanilla cream with it. That's the to me. That's what rounds off the edge. It gives me some nice what do they call them, tails. Um, really standard bourbon taste along with it though. The cherries, the oak. I get that vanilla cream. It's really smooth. It's really mild. I want to get really get the cherries and the taste. I do get a little it's, spiciness at the end, which I like. You know uh -huh. how I like a spicy. Um, I know we ripped it off. Is there? There's got to be some rye in here. No, there's no rye in that. That's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Getting something. I didn't want that paper to get in your way. <laughs> With more rye than a traditional bourbon. Bingo. Yeah. And a trademark spicy finish. And it's trademark spicy finish. It's easy to enjoy Basil Hayden's any way you like. Basil? I'll yeah. Basil. I like it without the paper. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, I can tell there's a little bit of rye in there. It's Basil Hayden's? Yeah. Or Basil? Oh, basil. I don't know, maybe it's Basil. Oh, but that, basil was is that Austin spice. Powers boss <laughs> in the movies? It could be. Basil. Mm-hmm. Mm. It is for coming in in the mid-30s. Um, I think it's 37 locally. Um, delicious. It's good. I like it. It's not, I mean, it's not set in... I'm telling Records. you, I wanted to not like it, but this could be a daily bourbon for me without the lose the belt and the and the, the robe thing on it. God, that I didn't like that. I don't. Well, know. How do they put this as a as a Kentucky straight bourbon? As long whiskey, as it's fifty one percent, and then corn, it's got rye. Fifty one percent corn. And then two years aged in uh, virgin oak will make Read it a it. straight bourbon. Read it. So, because it can have a... Uh, Are you it sure? Can have, yeah, I'm positive. You know why? Because I've read Bourbon Curious. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And the author is... Fred Minnick. Bingo. I read it, and thank you, Fred. Fred's making me not as dumb as I was. So, yeah. I need to read it when you're done with it. Yes, yes. It, it, I need to reread parts of it. It gets into mash bill. It gets into malted barley. It gets into the rye. It gets into the wheat. Um, very nice. So, uh, not a fan of the packaging, but I am a fan of the juice. The juice is what matters. Everything else is marketing. But, hey, they do need to get you to buy it. So, if it works for you guys, it works. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to come in exactly at your 87. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm not, yeah, not even going to knock it down for the packaging because that's just marketing. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be lower. I like it. I'd I grade like, it up. I like what packaging. you did to it. It'd be like a 94. For me, of the packaging. okay, with packaging, 72. With the packaging, 94. With that's packaging, awesome. 72. Nobody uh, else gives you the monk toga. With a belt. With the with the with brass WWE, belt. just imagine if you're a fan of WWE and maybe you are, boom, you're gonna love this. <laughs> this is like a whole soap opera going on in here. <laughs> Big old robe on and mm -hmm. stuff. Whole subtext story. You never know what's gonna happen in the match because they're not scripted. <laughs> what? All right, we're probably way over. Scotch it, you Scotch guys. Salancha, dummies. Boom, boom, boom.